Hi, I'm Rob McDonald, Vice President of Product Marketing here at One Cosmos, and today I'm joined by Hazafa, co-founder and COO um, of One Cosmos. How are you doing today, Hazafa? I am doing great, Rob. It's a Friday, so never better. <laughs> it's Friday. You're in New Jersey. I heard it snowed a little bit this week. I hope you're keeping warm. Um, you know, when it when you talk about snow, you're in Canada, so I cannot talk to you about snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little bit of a sprinkling, that's it. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, all right, well, listen, today, uh, thanks for joining us, um, or joining me. Um, we just made a recent announcement of a new integration partner, uh, Amazon Cognito. Uh, so before we talk about all the goodness of what, um, uh, what, what we're doing with Cognito, why don't you tell me a little bit about what it is? What is Cognito? Yeah. So Cognito is uh, a single sign-on platform, an IDP provider that uh, Amazon uh, Amazon Web Services provides. Um, they are, uh, especially if you are building your applications on the AWS platform, this is the native integration that AWS provides out of the box. Uh, so Cognito is widely used uh, across applications, individual applications that may be developed and has their own ecosystems within the AWS network. Okay, cool. So interesting. Um, where is AWS deployed within an organization? So you said it's an IDP. Um, I think everybody that's probably listening to these understands what an IDP is, but where do you typically find it? Because when we when we think workforce, you know, in particular, you know, there's Okta and you know Microsoft and Fordrock and Ping. Where's where's Cognito? Where do you find that? They primarily operate in the customer identity and access management or CIM space today. Um, so uh, they have not published essentially their numbers of their deployment, but it's pretty vastly adopted. Right? Um, so any kind of a public facing application which is hosted in AWS uh, application, and if they would in, uh, not would not have a custom integration be done from Okta or Microsoft, right? Amazon says here you go, right? You can use AWS Cognito. Okay. So yeah. uh, the, the primary use case for this would be a CIAM type of initiative. Somebody's put some sort of application on AWS, and then this is kind of the identity management portion of that application. Is that what I'm understanding? Okay. Absolutely. Makes Correct. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what motivated either One Cosmos to partner with AWS um, or AWS to partner with One Cosmos? What, how, did that, how did that come to be? Yeah, so I'll tell you at least our motivation, right? Um, we, well, we've made some significant uh, deployments in the CIM space recently. 2023 has been a great year for us in uh, in that particular sense. Uh, and our customers were essentially looking for, hey, do you have uh, you know these uh, the integration with AWS Cognito that you provide out of the box? Right? Uh, their footprint is pretty vast, uh, which I got to know, and um, uh, that has led to us you know, building this integration with them right, and providing a more out-of-the-box solution with them as well. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that, that, that's amazing. I mean, you know, everybody knows AWS, everybody knows Amazon, um, and, and, and it's cool to know that they're doing this, this part of their business as well. So we are now considered an AWS advanced technology partner. You know, so what, what specifically does that mean? So our integration today with AWS is uh, around us being the strong authentication for them. Meaning, you know, if you need to do either multi-factor authentication, if you want to do passwordless, if you want to, you know, have fast keys that you can deploy on your application that is supported by AWS Cognito, here you go. We are the partner of choice okay. right, um, that uh, you can you can go to. Um, so it's pretty significant, right? Uh, because most of the applications are now being mandated from a compliance standpoint. That, hey, you need to have either strong MFA, right? Or support passwordless fast keys mm -hmm. uh, in your application deployment stack. And that's where our integration with AWS Cognito uh, becomes extremely important. Okay, um, so there oh, are, okay. yeah. um, I just wanted to add, right? That uh, we, we want to continue, you know, this particular integration, right, uh, and develop further stories, like uh, more on the other sides of uh, pieces that we have, uh, identity grouping and verifiable credentials. But that is more in the future for us. Okay, so um, based on what I've read, um, you know, on the Amazon uh, Cognito site, they, they have more of these advanced technology partners. It looks like organizations that are kind of aligned to that. Have gone through some sort of testing. Is that is that correct? 
by Amazon? Yeah, integration as well as testing. So okay. while um, you know anything that we done uh, with uh, AWS, it, it goes through significant scrutiny and review. Right. Um, so even this particular integration that we built together, we have to document it. Right. Um, the entire GitHub of this particular technical integration is available. It is uh, referenced in a blog that has published by the AWS community mm -hmm. that goes out to anybody. Um, you know, the AWS customer, you can essentially go back and look at it. There are references to the GitHub link uh, as well, um, and what that integration is. But anyway, all of this was not put together by us, right? It was, uh, we provided, you know, the integration story, but it was reviewed through multiple different channels and, and reviews. Uh, I, I cannot even recall how many uh, by AWS and published by that. Well, that, I mean, that's, that's amazing. So, you know, somebody looking at adding our technology into that stack can be pretty much rest, rest assured that it's been tested by Amazon to make sure that it works with their technology and that um, the integration and implementation of us with uh, Cognito would be seamless. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're a developer, right, uh, if you're watching this, if you have AWS Cognito, Right. Feel free to look at the blog. Maybe we can reference it into the link as well. Um, uh, you know, when we post this, but um, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Right. Uh, you would essentially put a custom auth plugin, you know, with one Cosmos, and there you go. You will be able to uh, provide uh, strong MFA or passwordless authentication to your end customers. Awesome. You know, we take user experience pretty seriously here at One Cosmos, right? I guess, I mean, I'm sure you would agree with me on that, right? <laughs> uh, everything we do revolves around that and basically privacy. But, um, you know, it's commonly known that users, you know, will go elsewhere if it's too hard, um, if they, you know, if what they came to do, you know, w wasn't easy, right? Um, how does One Cosmos help, you know, Cognito users kind of provide a better experience um, when they're dealing with their with, with their end users. Absolutely, right. So when, uh, uh, you know, the experience is, and I always want to, uh, you know, highlight that there are two experiences. One is for strong MFA, because we believe in the story of, you don't have to, you know, completely take your organization from password to password less from day one to mm -hmm. day two, right? You may have a transition yeah. period. So strong MFA becomes important. So we have factored that experience, right? um in um the entire uh, uh in the entire channel where you can authenticate um in uh cognito and then there's a dialog box that opens up which essentially factors in you know what one cosmos provides right. to you right as any of the strong mfa pro uh, you know options that you may have push notifications otp totb etc uh for our passwordless and pass keys right we provide an sdk right which again from an end user standpoint it seems seamless mm -hmm. for them right where all, all they're doing is you know entering the username right uh, their back end api calls if they're available you know that contact one cosmos uh you know, console or uh gateway that we have um and then we provide uh, we essentially see if this particular authentication is valid and right uh, and give signals back to aws uh, listen i think it's i think it's amazing so when you when we look at you know Amazon Cognito customers, we we kind of touched on it earlier, but how easy or a developer, uh, how easy is it for developers to deploy One Cosmos into a Cognito instance? Yeah, uh, so like I said, right, you can sign up for a One Cosmos instance right by going to a developer environment. Yep. Um, you if you have a Cognito instance, so if you feel free to, you can you know sign up for a free account for Cognito as well. That is available on the AWS site. Um, there are instructions uh, to, you know, develop a custom auth plugin, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and uh, you know, on that particular blog, we also highlight and the GitHub repository. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the steps that you need to essentially use to integrate, you know, uh, AWS Cognito with one process? Okay, so then as a follow-on to that question, um, you know, that obviously sounds relatively easy. Um, how would customers acquire an instance of block ID? So it's like, okay, I like it. I, I, I installed it at work. The only custom developers did all the great work. Mm -hmm. How do I then you know, pay for the instance that I? Yeah, so, you want to make the entire experience easy. So if you're a customer in the AWS ecosystem, we are listed on the AWS marketplace, right? We have three distinct product lines, right? Uh, 
that are available. So you can choose any one of them. Most likely it will be your around block ID customer or verify. And um, you can sign up, you can try, you know, you can you can sign up for the product through AWS Marketplace. You would, you know, um, get your instance, your license keys, etc. you know, through that particular portal and you'd be good to go. That's cool. Um, listen, as if I know that you're super busy as always, um, and I wanted to thank you for taking the time today to sit down and, and tell us about this uh, this exciting announcement that we made uh, this week. And uh, you know, I wish you the best, and I hope you come back and talk to me again on a on a vlog uh, soon. Look forward to it, Robert. Thank you. Okay. So, listen, if uh, if you want to find out more about um, this integration, you can check out our website. We've got a data sheet and a press release there that you can go take a read and learn more about this Cognito um, integration. And then, plus, as uh, Hazefa mentioned earlier, there's a Amazon Cognito blog um, that you can read as well. We'll put links to all of those um, down below. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you again shortly.